This is Lloyd Chambers at digloyd.com. See also my zeissguide.com. Just going to take a quick look here at the new Zeiss 135mm F2 Apo Sonar. It's the first apochromatic lens that Zeiss has offered in its DSLR line. Hopefully one of more to come. Uh, we'll do a little quick unboxing here and then take a look at the, the uh, lens versus its uh, 100 millimeter sibling and also the Canon 135. Nothing too technical here, just a look. You can see that the box is fairly large, being about uh, good to, to almost 11 inches across. Uh, it's a big box for a lens. Let's take a look. What do we have? We've got a looks like three year warranty these now. Um, and you get your warranty card and your uh, serial number, business, and all that cert certification. It's packed in nice thick foam padding. The uh, lens itself comes out with a. Uh, it's got the uh, large front lens cap, rear cap, and so on. We'll pull up the lens shade here. Everything's wrapped in plastic. We'll dispense with this box here and we'll take a look. Alright, so what we've got is a quite a large lens hood. As you can see, it goes like so. Uh, I'd shoot this most of the time, maybe a filter. It's uh, flocked on the inside, probably hard to see in a video, but there's a flocking that's very effective. The front lens cap is the Zeiss style. Um, I tend to replace mine with Nikons because they work a little better. Um, it's a very large uh, front element. A lot of glass there. I'm just half feeling it and it's, a, it's not a light lens. I think this thing weighs almost a kilogram. Very solidly built. We can see uh, a uh, nice uh, fairly long focus throw to one to four so the lens becomes quite a bit taller and longer when it's fully focused. It goes to one to four unlike the 100 millimeter which goes to one to two. Let's get this back in rotation here. Now let's look at the 100 millimeter next to it. So when you look at these two side by side we can see that perhaps uh, the 135 is a little bit bigger lens. A lot more glass in front less recessed. You can see it's more out in front whereas the 100 millimeters more recessed and just the physical size of the two is is pretty significantly different. It's about what you'd expect for a 135 millimeter f2. Not overly big but very very well built. And when you look at it compared to say the Canon 135 uh, f2L um, you can see they're actually pretty much the same size the Canon's actually a little longer, and I believe this is the Zeit, uh, Nikon model of the, the Zeiss 135. The Canon one's actually a little longer, so pr probably these two lenses are actually almost identical in size. The uh, glass on the Zeiss and the glass on the Canon looks to be pretty similar in diameter. And uh, obviously the Canon's made of plastic mainly, and the Zeiss is all metal. It's really a beautifully built item. So that's that. In terms of what it looks like with the hood, let's take a look at that and see if that's comparable. The Canon lens hood is, is also very large and kind of sticky on mine. It always has been. I don't like it at all. It's just not the same build quality at all. But you can see the Canon lens is actually significantly longer, not as wide, large in diameter as the uh, Zeiss, but um, longer. And then if we add the 100, the Zeiss 100 millimeter macro to the arrangement here, we can get a sense of the size of these three things. Um, Zeiss is heavier than either of these two. If you look at the diameter of the Zeiss 135 versus the Canon, it's a lot more there. Um, Canon is not a light lens by any means, but it is autofocus, and that's a very significant thing for some shooters. And uh, Zeiss is notably heavier. Um, if we look at the, the ring on it, we've got F2 to F22. 
locks at F22, press the little button, it'll release. Um, I tend not to use this, but it is handy for, especially for uh, if you use an adapter, say on a Canon DSLR, using an Icon version. The, the actual throw is very beautifully smooth. I mean, it's just nice and even. It's damped, but um, you can feel like you can go back and forth really smoothly with just enough damping so that it, it's wonderful. Whereas when you take an autofocus lens like the Canon, it just doesn't have the same feel. And, and, and the amount of throw you get from infinity to three feet, or that's three meters, uh, is not very much. Whereas when you look at the Zeiss, you got infinity all the way down to three meters. It's, I don't know, five times the throw or something, which gives you a lot more precision in what you want to do with it. All right, so that's the quick look at it. Here we go. So the 135 new Apple Sonar and the 100 millimeter uh, macro planar. And I'll be comparing these on my guide to Zeiss, uh, zeissguide.com, and check out the blog at digiloid.com for more on this lens. I'll be working with it over the next few weeks.